So I, uh, I need to report a robbery, a daylight robbery, actually. Uh, the scene of the crime, the average corporation and business, for-profit, not-for-profit, large, small, young, old. Um, the usual suspects, uh, CEOs, directors, managers, employees, um, you, me. The circumstantial evidence, and I've collected this over many years, just ask any of the CEOs, any of the managers, any of the employees, how's their stress? How's their strain? What kind of pressures are they experiencing? What kind of overwhelm are they sensing in their business life? Uh, the forensic evidence. Just look at the carcasses that we've seen in business recently. We've seen borders, gone. Blockbuster, gone. We've seen banks and retailers, gone. We've seen automotive companies have near-death experiences and, and banks back. And you have seen forensic evidence in your businesses, and you've seen circumstantial evidence in your businesses. The guilty party, agility. Or rather, the agility gap. And our challenge in closing the agility gap. And when we don't close that gap, it robs us of our sense of prosperity as an integration of happiness and success. Now, what do I mean by the agility gap? Well, the agility gap is the gap between the demands upon our agility and our ability to supply the agility required. It's a supply-demand gap. Now, let's talk about the demands upon our agility these days. I mean, just look at the speed of business, the pace of change, the unprecedented volatility, uncertainty, and turbulence that we experience in the business world these days, and it flows over into our lives. I mean, only a few weeks ago, we saw the Dow Jones Industrial Average go through four consecutive days of 400-point swings for the first time in its more than 100-year history. If that doesn't define new volatility, I don't know what does. Now, on the supply side, in my experience, having seen lots of companies over the years, and I now get to facilitate CEOs and their teams, and I get to run roundtable groups of CEOs and executives and see all kinds of different diverse businesses, what I see on the supply side is things aren't moving very much at all. The demand side continues to accelerate, but the supply side isn't moving, and so there's this widening agility gap. And what bubbles up in that gap is chaos and crises and the need to manage chronic chaos and crises. And what bubbles up in the experience of the employees and the CEOs and the managers is a sense of overwhelm. They just feel overwhelmed. And it flows over into their life. And they just feel overwhelmed. And that integration of happiness and success that we call prosperity seems to kind of diminish and pass them by. And they kind of resign themselves to it. And they kind of feel like, well, they're serving a life sentence and there's no way to launch a jailbreak. So um, let's talk about what that agility gap is robbing us of. First in business, what does it rob us of? Well, it robs us of productivity. It robs us of focus, and it robs us of flow. It robs us of revenue flow and growth. It robs us of uh, margins. It robs us of profitability. It robs us of cash flow. What does it do to us professionally? Well, it robs us of balance. It robs us of learning. It robs us of growth. It robs us of the ability to build our skills and to have a di diverse experience base. What does it rob us of personally? It robs us of self-esteem. It robs us of peace. It robs us of us, our sense of prosperity and life. And that sense of happiness and success. How many of your people, how many people that you know, some days yourself, how... How many people feel that their happiness and success in life is being robbed to some degree by this agility gap and the overwhelm that emerges in it? 
when does this robbery occur? Well, it occurs in daylight hours. It's daylight robbery. You see, it occurs between the time that you arrive at work, you park in the lot, and you walk inside your office. And it continues until you get in your car at the end of the day and you drive home. Because think about it. When you're in the driving seat of your car, you have mastered and closed the agility gap. Think about it. Think about the demands upon your agility when you're in the driving seat of your car. I mean, you're dealing with different traffic patterns and weather conditions. There's a cop car coming down the ramp. There's some idiot weaving through the lanes. There's somebody going too slow in the fast lane. You're able to master the agility and close the agility gap because on the supply side, whoa, what was that? That was a ladder in the road. My goodness me. On the supply side, you're able to be strategic and operational, a leader and a manager, long-term and short-term oriented, all at the same time we have mastered and closed the agility gap. Thank goodness, because if we hadn't, it would be carnage out there every day. And yet in business, we see carnage every day. Not just the big visible examples that we talked about, borders and blockbuster, but what about the small invisible carnage that's occurring behind closed doors every day? Tasks and projects going unmanaged. People feel the stress and strain of their work because things are out of control and things are changing so fast. People going home at the end of the day not feeling that they have the prosperity that they want to have in terms of happiness and success. You see, it intrigues me that when we're in the driving seat of our car, we can do this, and yet when we're in the driving seat of our business, we can't. So my commitment in all walks of life that I get to work in these days is to help people close that agility gap. And one of the best outlets for that that I have these days is with junior achievement here in San Diego where a few years ago we built this business city called Biztang down in Mission Valley and this is where kids get to come for a day, they're fifth graders and they get to run the city for a day and they get to experience all of the details and all of the dynamics all of the journey involved of being in business for a day and they get to be in the driving seat of a business. And at the end of the day, they get to balance their checkbook. And they get to see if they have prosperity and success and happiness at the end of the day or if they don't. We serve about 46,000 kids per year out of 540,000 K through 12 in the uh, San Diego and Imperial County uh, area. And our commitment, so we serve just less than 10%, our commitment is to serve 100% of those kids. And so on the board of Junior Achievement San Diego, we're constantly asking ourselves, how do we have the agility? How can we stay in traction? How can we avoid wheel spin? How can we not be overwhelmed by this agility gap? Because there are just too many kids depending upon us. 500,000 kids are depending upon us. So I want to leave you with three questions when you next find yourself in the driving seat of your car. I'd like you to ask yourself, how are you experiencing wheel spin in any way, shape, or form in your business or your life? How are you experiencing wheel spin? Number two, what is that wheel spin costing you in terms of diminishing your sense of prosperity, your integration of happiness and success. And number three, what are you willing to do about it to get back into traction? If you are willing to accumulate traction, get out of wheel spin, get back into traction, then you too can take back ownership of your prosperity and you can stop this daylight robbery. Thank you.